talk yeah, about yeah. Uh, your opportunity here and Yeah, I mean, very excited. I mean, just like our team, we're just super excited about being uh, here at the Orange Bowl. Um, I had one opportunity to um, to be here in the past in, in the 2015 uh, playoffs and, and uh, was an awesome experience and, um, you know, just, just excited to be – part of this thing and it's been a great week so far still early in the week but just uh off to a really really good start and and uh gonna be ready to go on friday Man, our, our guys are very motivated because um, we got a lot to play for. No matter what game we're in, um, we're always going to be very, very motivated. That just kind of comes along with our culture. Um, and so just to be in an opportunity to be in a, a New Year's Six bowl game and, and uh, um, like I said, just excited about being here. And the kids have done a great job um, of uh, preparing so far. Um, just very, very, um, you know, excited and and. It really taking on the challenge and and we got a really good opponent that we're going against and and so it's going to be a fun matchup yeah they're very multiple um very multiple um they're very big up front um they do a really good job of um stunting and moving around and and uh, trying to create confusion um, and then on the back end, they do a really good job of mixing up coverages and post snap recognition is going to be really important for the quarterbacks. Um, very active defense. They run well, got a lot of speed. Um, so it'll be a big challenge for us. I mean, they're very good in tackles for loss. Um, they're, they're, they're ranked very high in red zone defense um, and rush defense. And so um, we've been talking about it all week long, just about the challenge um, that we have um, against this Tennessee defense. I know nobody's the same, but is there anyone that you played this year more recently that you would give them the closest comp to and what they got? Oh, man, you know, um, really it's a mixture of, of a, a bunch of different teams. Um, I really think that they're so multiple. They do a lot of different stuff. They do different fronts and different coverages, like I mentioned. And so, um, you know, it's a mix of, of some of the teams that we had. Nobody in specifically, but just um, they, they do a really good job of mixing it up and not having many tendencies. You know, I think, um, you know, they just had a lot of big plays against them, you know, and that's that really hurt them. You know, South Carolina did a great job of of uh, making those big plays when they were there. And um, and, and that's what um, and that's what they struggled with in that game, you know. Um, but like you said, I feel like as the year went on, especially their defense got better and better, you know, aside from that one game against South Carolina and um, and so, you know, the key is going to be to make some big plays, and that's what they did. That's what South Carolina did against them. How have practices been different than Kate running the show? Last year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you have a transition and you have a, a change and, and different guys in the room um, for the last uh, last week and a half or two weeks, you know, it's definitely different because we have a very, very tight knit tight knit uh, group in that quarterback room, and and. Uh, you know, DJ obviously was a, a big, big part of that thing. We wouldn't be here without DJ. And uh, and Cade and DJ had a great relationship. So, um, and then Billy Wiles as well, you know, um, up and left and, and uh, great kid. And just, um, so it's a little bit different dynamic, but it's been really good. It's been a good two weeks of just developing uh, more relationships um, and and uh, chemistry for our quarterbacks with with the receivers and just the the differences in that. Um, and Kate's done an awesome job. Kate has so much energy and leadership, um, maturity, um, and he's been very very good these last two weeks. What's that? <laughs> yeah yeah I mean I really believe that um, first and foremost that one of the hardest jobs on the team 
is to be a backup quarterback and and try to be prepared and ready um, when you have no idea when you're going in. Now, like you said, we did have a plan um, for the ACC championship game to get Kate in the game in that third series, and and we executed that plan. And um, but now it's just a little bit. It's a different approach because because now you know the situation as far as Cade's concerned, and you know that he's the starter and he's going to be able to prepare. Um, and knowing that <clears throat> he's starting is a, is a whole different mindset than being the backup and just not sure if you know you're going to go in the game or not. And and so um, he's done a great job of preparation. He always has done a good job. But uh, it's been fun to watch him um, take that next step as a leader since he became the starter. And um, and these guys have really rallied around him. So it's been fun to watch. Personally, where does arm strength fall on the list of priorities that you want to hold back? Yeah, arm strength, arm strength is definitely important to me, but it's not the most important. Um, you know, I would say um, decision making and accuracy would come before arm strength. Um, but anytime you have a guy that can do all three of those things and uh, a guy that has the ability to make the throws, whether it's off platform or um, you know, off balance or on the run, um, you, know, you can create and, and do more things and potentially be more explosive. So it's definitely you know, um, a priority, but it's not necessarily the most important one. When you're bringing up the moment young player, and you know, we've heard some coaches talk about Half yeah. Maybe getting them warmed up and maybe not giving them everything yeah. in the playbook yet. How do you bring it along a young player and quarterback to not tie his hands too much, but then also kind of not stop his Yeah, I, I really think that um, number one, you got to get him in rhythm and, and continue to make sure that he has confidence. And so, you know, high percentage throws are good, obviously, um, to get him rolling. Um, and then, you know, like you said, you, you don't want to put a cap on it, though, either, because he's learning every single day. And, um, and, and whenever you give an opportunity for a guy to grow um, and, and kind of hand over the, the, the keys to the offense, um, it's fun to watch how they blossom. And so um, just being able to work together as, a, as a, the quarterback's coach and, and, uh, and as with the quarterback and just making sure we're on the same page and trusting. And, um, and then I would say the other thing is, you know, just having some progression reads where, you know, it's a true progression. Um, and that way, you know, it's, it's very clean. It's a little bit simpler and uh, allows them to play fast. So how much do you give a young guy like that in terms of being able to make adjustments at the line of scrimmage? Yeah. Or is he earn the spot so he can make those changes? Yeah, he definitely, there are some, there's certain situations where he definitely will be able to, to change um, some of the protections and plays. Um, and so, you know, he's a smart kid. And, and I think as he grows, the more we would be able to allow him to do that. But he's done it already. And so he'll definitely be able to change a lot of the, um, some of the plays that we have, like I said, and especially the protections. Yeah, so as multiple as you were talking about Tennessee being, yep. this is kind of a, a good early test for him. To yes, what you've seen, right? absolutely, absolutely. And so, so our game plan has always been, man, just doing a great job of trying to keep it as simple as possible um, and not trying to do too much. Um, and he's done a really good job of that. And, and uh, you know, as long as he continues to just trust his progression and trust the offense and not try to do more than what he has to do, he doesn't have to be a hero. We got a lot of guys around him that are helping to support him. And so um, he's done a great job of that when he's been in there in games. And um, he's got a great poise about him. And so um, he'll do a great job. One of those guys is Will Shipley. Yeah. Yeah. Will Shipley is one of the most grittiest guys that I've been around. Um, he's just a guy that um, comes to work every single day and is ready to go. You don't have to wonder if he's ready to go. Um, he told me this morning he's ready to play right now. You know, so I said, "Calm down, Ship. You know, we got a couple more days." But he's just one of those guys that you love as a leader. Um, all, all our players look up to him because of how he. Um, how he presents himself. Um, he's tough. He's nasty. Um, he's smart. Very, very smart. Um, and, you know, he's just a guy that, that everybody looks up to. And so 
Um, he's fun to he's fun to coach because he can do it all. He really can. He can run in between the tackles. He can run outside. He catches the ball out of the backfield. And so when you have a guy like that, it just allows you to be even more multiple as an offense and even more explosive. Yeah, Brian has done a good job for us. You know, he's uh, um, you know he's one of a handful of guys that we've gotten out of Tennessee and. And, um, and just a great kid, man, continuing to get better and better, continuing to grow as a player, and uh, has, do, has done a good job as a backup role this year. What have you seen from the talent level in the state of Tennessee? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's definitely, like a, lot of, uh, like a lot of states, there's different pockets that are really, really good. And, um, and so, you know, I think Tennessee definitely has some, some talented players, and we've been fortunate enough to get a couple of those out of there. Playing an opponent? Yeah, it does. I mean, anytime you can go into another state um, and have success recruiting, um, you know, it it, it 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 does some good things for your program, you know, and it, and it shows that um, your brand is just getting stronger and stronger. And so when it, we've been able to do that in a, several states, and um, it's been fun. Whenever you win games and and you continue to to recruit hard and and go after the, the these top guys that fit our culture. Um, you know, it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah, really excited. I mean, um, I mean, just great, great kids. Um, just the guys that um, fit the culture very, very well. You know, you talk about CV and, and his um, abilities, number one, are, are incredible. He's got great size. Um, 6'3", 6'4", um, 215 pounds, and um, he brings a lot to the table. He can do it all. He can run. He's got a strong arm, um, very talented throwing and a lot of different launch points, and, um, and he's a really good leader for his team. And so um, we're excited about him and, then, um, uh, and just, just excited about those guys joining our room, man. It's going to be fun.